Hello Cruising World, Mick the Suit Guy. I am back from the inaugural cruise on the Radiance. I'm in the process right now of uploading a full ship tour and I'm going to follow up with this little beauty which is going to be a little video with all the uh, restaurants uh, and all the menus that I swipe screenshots from off of the lovely hub which you should have if you don't have it, download it. So anyway, not going to waste anybody's time. I know you're all keen to get on the Radiance. Here's a look at all the restaurants with the menus. All right, let's start with the Blue Iguana Cantina. This is where you can get burritos in the morning or at lunch, tacos, and you can also get a taco shell, which I will show you in a little while. So you're basically going to select for breakfast, either a wheat or jalapeno burrito, same for lunch. And then you can ask them to put any of these fillings in for you. They are wonderful in the morning. These are on, this is on deck nine Lido midship. That first side is burritos. This side is the tacos. Um, they also have a wonderful toppings station, kind of the same way that Guy's Burgers do. So uh, I'm going to show you that right now. It's right next to it, right over here. These are all the toppings you can add. I always get the cilantro, but different hot sauces and whatever you have there. Now, you remember I mentioned that taco shell? This is what they look like. Unbelievable. That's lunch. Free option. Ask for a taco shell at lunch. Now I'm going to be showing you menus. Here we go. Uh, they're not going to be up for too long because I don't want to make this video too, too long. So you can always freeze the screen. But uh, this is a rough idea of what you can get within the Blue Iguana Cantina. Now, Chef's Table, which you have to sign up for. It's like $75 on this ship, I believe. Uh, we did not do it this week, but we're hoping to do it soon. It's amazing. It's on deck three midship at the back of the Sunrise Restaurant. If you don't know what the chef's table is, look it up. I've got a video of it on my site, of my, my channel, of course. This is the Cucina del Capitano. It is on deck 10 aft. You will come in here. It's on both sides. You can make your way up those stairs on the right or the elevator you see there from deck 9, the Lido, on the buffet area there. This is where the chefs prepare the food for you. You can get a free option at lunch, which is wonderful or you can pay $15 and eat there at dinner. You'll just come and see the hostess at the top of those stairs. I'll show you in a second. If you wanna come up for lunch, you can come and see them for dinner if there's a space available, or you can make a reservation on the hub, or you can pay for it in advance by making a reservation on your Carnival account under the cruise. So we just passed the host there. These are the menu sheets. This is the lunch sheet where you select what you want. And this is the main menu. You can have two appetizers from the paid one, two appetizers, one entree, and one dessert. Again, I'm not leaving these uh, up for too long. Oh, there's sides. I'm not leaving these up for too long because uh, otherwise this video will be forever. So you can pause and read these if you want. Or email me and I can send you the entire screenshot. The deli is next. This is on the Lido just behind the Blue Iguana Cantina. Where you can get sandwiches, hot or cold, whichever ones you want. Pretty good option if you uh, don't want to spend too much time waiting. They're, they're very quick and they're very decent sandwiches in my experience. And there is the hot side. Couldn't fit it all on one screenshot, so it looks a bit messy. I'm going to show you the cold. There you go. There's the cold. Next up, guys, burgers. So here are all your options on this ship. It is on deck nine midship right next to the Blue Iguana Cantina, and also just by the Red Frog Pub, or Red Frog um, Bar, not the pub. The pub is on deck five. So there's the pool, there's the toppings bar. I always get the mushrooms. Looked like there was extra ground beef on this one. I've never seen that before. And there's various sauces you can get there. So that's Blue Iguana. So that's Guy's Burgers, what am I talking about? As Guy's Burgers, and there's the uh, menu options. These are the choices you have to make. And there's a brief explanation of what the LTOP, SMC, Rojo Ring, and Donkey Sauce means. Next up, we have Guy's Pig and Anchor Barbecue. This is at the very back of the ship on deck 10, right behind the Italian restaurant Cucina. This is only available for lunch on sea days and on embarkation day. But uh, it's Pretty damn good. We had it on embarkation day. It was actually very, very good. One thing I will tell you, we did not see a water station anywhere near here. We had to go inside to get water. 
Um, there's your basic menu I'm going to show you again in a second. And then you'll just come up here and get your lunch. Check the hub for times because it might vary. So I'm not going to give you times right now. It might vary from cruise to cruise, but it only available at lunch. And there is the menu in slow motion. I just took screenshots from the hub on all of these menus. Next up, Java Blue. This is where you'll get your coffee. So, uh, and some extra desserts if you want them. They're, they're a nominal fee, like $3, $4. They used to do these huge, huge cakes, but not anymore. Hello, ladies. So this is where you'll come for your coffee, your special teas, your milkshakes and what have you. And there's a little selection of some of the extra cakes they had for, a, again, for a nominal fee. So that's Java Blue, the coffee. Included in your cheers. If you don't have alcohol, if you have alcohol, it takes one of your cheers up. This is the pizza. This is at the back of deck nine, aft, right by the Tides Pool and the Tides Bar. Open 24 seven. And you can order it anywhere you want on the ship from your hub for a nominal fee. I think it's five bucks. Never done it, so I honestly don't know. And there are main choices you can get for the pizzas. Now, the Sunset Restaurant, this is the restaurant at the back of the ship, three and four aft. This is where you will go for any time your time dining. Um, one thing I will tell you, these seats here, they're pretty open, but if you need a bit of extra room to sit down, be careful that you don't get one of the uh, tables that are kind of sideways. I'll show you one in a second. There is not much room, uh, pretty poorly designed. I barely fit in one myself. Um, so these ones are okay. Um, but the closer you get this row at the back, just coming into view, I didn't get a proper pan of it, but I promise you that's very narrow on the other side. So if you make a reservation to come in for dinner, uh, make sure that you get one if you need a bit more room to sit that's not up against the, the wall simplest way just get one of the ones in the open just tell them but this is where you will come again for your time anytime dining it is on deck three and four aft there's the deck three we're standing on deck four right now and um you can come in here for sea day brunch so i am going to run through all of the sea day brunch menu for you again this is just taken off of the hub uh, just screenshots, so I stick it up there for you. They're not going to be up for too, too long. But this gives you an idea of what you can get on Sea Day Brunch, which runs from about 8 until about 1, I believe. But again, don't take my word on times. Check the hub when you're on board, and it will give you an idea of when they're open. Um, but really good options at Sea Day, sea day Brunch. Just don't expect it to be quick. <laughs> we went, it took almost two hours. So uh, if you are in a hurry, tell them you're in a hurry. Otherwise, they will not rush. I don't think it's designed that way. You have some options there, like Lobster Benedict you can get and pay for, and some desserts. I always get the banana cream pie. So that's a sea day brunch that you will do in the Sunset Restaurant. This is the Sunrise Restaurant, which is where you will go if you have early or late dining. It is on deck three and four midship. With this ship, deck five rules, you have to go up to deck five, go across and go down all the way. It's the only deck, apart from the cabin decks, that goes all the way through the ship. Uh, a leader, of course. Next up is the new boy on the block, Shaq's Big Chicken. This was the breakfast setup. On the left there, you'll see they got some cereals and yogurts and stuff like that. Uh, that turns to sides on the lunch option. You'll also notice they just had bottles of ketchup there. The sauces are only available for the lunch option, which is a bit weird because one of the breakfast options is chicken tenders, but uh, you can only get ketchup. It's really good, though. So, again, you uh, for breakfast, it's typically biscuits, uh, with chicken or sausage or chicken tenders with fries. The fries are really light. They're like steak fries, but they're really thin. So this is the breakfast setup that you will see. And then it's a slightly different one at lunch. This is the lunch setup. The uh, potato salad and, and different fixings there where the cereal was earlier. They switch it out and put this stuff up there. Uh, no more yogurts or anything. And now the actual sauces are out. The different ones you can pick from, not just the ketchup. Um, it, again, it's a bit weird to me, but... Who am I? And then this is what the uh, lunch setup will look like because now they've got more sandwiches. Uh, they still keep doing the breakfast options, um, but this is uh, where the sandwiches begin, as it were. And you'll see they've now put up to two sides. Earlier it was just one side. And they're the serving bowls that they give you. Um, so this is really good. I strongly recommend it. It's at the back of deck nine um, on the Lido deck. And of course, uh, it's Shaq's restaurant. And Shaq has big hands, as you can see. Much bigger than mine. So that's big chicken. 
and there's the menu. Again, not up for long. Moving on to the steakhouse. This is on deck three midship, right by the Sunrise Restaurant, where you would go for your early or late dining. Um, it's not very big, I'm not gonna lie. So if you really want to go, you might want to make reservations in advance of your cruise because I would imagine when this ship gets full, it was only at 50% capacity when we went. Um, it might be pretty full all week. So same thing for the chef's table, I would say. But uh, if it's possible, I would book this in advance. It really isn't very big. But as always, we did eat there. And, and as usual, it's an excellent, excellent service, a great meal um, for the value. Very, very good. So that's the steakhouse, deck three midship. There's the uh, appetizers. So you get two appetizers or one appetizer and one salad is what they say, but you can always switch one of the salads for another appetizer. And there are your entrees. I promise you it's well worth the money. Uh, really good meal. Uh, I don't think there's anything that's really not worth the money. Uh, nothing's as good as GG's, but uh, there's no GG's on this ship, sadly. All right, here we have Bonsai Sushi. This is on deck five aft. It's right by the Red Frog Pub, the Alchemy, and the Piano Bar in that sort of area. So uh, you can come here for sushi. I think it's open long hours, like 12 to 12 or something like that. But check the hub, as always, for times. And here is the menu. We did not eat here this week because we did not have time, but I love it, especially as I have my Kirin beer, which I do have a fondness for. Sometimes I'll go there just to get the Kirin beer. But anyway, you can come here and get your sushi to your hearts or your boat's delight, as I say, because I have a sushi boat for 22 bucks. It's really, really good. And you can share it between two people and there's a great dinner for you. So that would be everything you can get in Bonsai Sushi. Again, deck three, sorry, deck five aft. And I'm gonna give you a bonus one here. In the Red Frog Pub, did you know that they have pub grub? Look at those. Just scan the QR code on the sign and it's there. All right, so there you have it. Loads of dining options on the lovely new Carnival Radiance. But Shaq's chicken is as advertised, it's amazing. It's on the Mardi Gras too, it's wonderful. Maybe even better than Guy's Burgers. It is, in my opinion. I know many of you will disagree. However, if you'd like to subscribe to my wonderful little channel, please do. I would love to have you all as subscribers. If you have any questions, email's coming up. Please feel free to email me any questions, anytime. I am here to help. I am not here to tell you I know everything. I don't, but I try and find the answer to everything I can. Everything is just my opinion. Opinions are like whatever you knows. Take it for what it's worth. I try and help is all I can say. Subscribe, join my Facebook page. I'm gonna put the link up in the comments, but more importantly, cruise. So cheap right now. Take advantage of the great deals. And I will see you later, Cruising World. Any questions? Email me anytime. Cruisingsuitguy at gmail.com. I promise I'll reply as soon as possible. Want to book a cruise or any type of travel? We are travel agents. Check out our site, elitetravelconnection.com or email me, mick at elitetravelconnection.com. We are here for you. Finally, subscribe, please, pretty please. You know you want to, go on. I won't beg you, okay, I'm begging. Please, subscribe. Thank you.